Hi hey everyone, Caster here. So I've been playing Shao ever since his first run, and I think I have already seen enough of what Shao can do. I'm doing this video for you guys, which are Shao means out there to at least help you decide and give you an advice on what really is like to have Shao. I will most likely talk about things to FTP players to at least um, show them if Shao is really worth it. So let's talk about bad stuff first. Number one would be his elemental skill issues. Zhao has this tendency to not generate energy particles, especially if you use his elemental skill consecutively, like maybe you won't notice this doing all sort of plunge and one normal attack hit, plunge combo, but the usual gameplay of Zhao would be elemental skill first, then burst. Even if you're not running him on the main abyss or just around Teyvat, he will not generate energy particles like maybe 4 out of 10. Not just generating particles but sometimes damage too. Uh, he won't do any elemental skill damage at all alongside particles so um, it also has a bit of a long cooldown of 10 seconds. So Zhao has energy issues so if you nitpick about him just run him with animal battery then that's good enough. Number 2 would be the Abyss. The current Abyss is not that good with Xiao. Still a lot of Xiao users are able to clear Abyss without much problem so what could be the issue? One of the issues would be his plunge attack since uh, it knocks enemies away from him making it harder for him to deal damage even though he is a uh, AoE damage dealer so mobs like uh, Wolf Sharks and even Big Sonic will always get away from him, uh, making it harder for him to maximize the 15 seconds duration of his burst. So um, I don't know if other Xiaomans out there will get angry at me, but number 3 would be um, Xiao is soft as a jelly. The reason why you see a lot of Xiaomi, probably including myself, uh, always run him with Xiaomi or any shielder is the fact that uh, he is soft as a jelly, like maybe one hit from an enemy will always knock you back, like if not send you out flying halfway across the map, like seriously if the enemy hits you it will only um, take you like 4 to 6 hits maybe. Especially if you're halfway on your plunge attack then uh, you lose your shield. Especially if you're halfway on your plunge attack then you lose your shield. Worst thing would be getting frozen halfway and not being able to do any plunge attack and getting mobilized by mobs. Number 4 would be motion sickness problem. I'm sure you guys are aware about his burst plunge. A lot of players actually don't like shout about um, his uh, plunge attack since the camera angle hinders the gameplay making it harder for them to control Xiao and see enemies to hit with. Like for instance, you'll jump in a uh, certain area. Like for instance, you'll jump in a uh, certain area and not hitting enemies and stuff. Also, with his plunge delay, um, there's a uh, slight delay once you hit the ground after doing plunge attack. That is why players do one normal attack, then jump again to do plunge attack to minimize that delay and just continue to obliterate enemies. Number five would be. Uh, Xiao does not synergize with other elements. Um, Xiao is an uh, animal character, meaning an element that can only do thrill. So if you're used to seeing big numbers on YouTube with another character like Raiden, Divit, or other DPS characters, then Xiao won't do that much. Elemental reactions always do a significant amount of damage since um, there's two elements involved, like Hydro plus um, pyro, for example, uh, will result to vaporize, making twice damage to enemies. So we're done with bad stuff that I encounter while playing with Xiao, so let's move on to the section that made me like Xiao regardless of what I said a while ago. So let's talk about good stuff about Xiao. Number one would be, he's so, um, he's so easy to build. Wait, I know. I know a lot of uh, Xiaomi, including myself, spend so much time on uh, Verdescent Domain, but now with his um, main set, the Vermilion Hereafter, 
uh, it won't be that hard unlike before. You can also do a mix of two piece gladiator, echoes, vermilion, shiminao and virtuosant. He has a uh, crit rate ascension stat like the loop so him with a um, weapon with crit rate or crit damage and crit circle won't be that hard to full build him. Just make sure to uh, prioritize crit stat, energy recharge and attack. Number 2 would be, um, it is so fun and cool to play with him. So um, contrary to what I just said earlier about the motion sickness stuff, unless you get to, uh, used to with his uh, burst plunge, everything will be so easy especially if you have C6, like once you hit two or more enemies just use his um, elemental skill consecutively I mean that's going to be a lot more engaging than just going up and down obliterating enemies number three would be um, he's so strong I honestly don't know what to say in this section other than saying that he's so strong even without um, elemental reactions at all he's also part of uh, Huey's top 3 DPS but now that um, there's a lot of other elemental DPS, being an animal DPS um, is great. I mean, he is, um, is also strong without um, needing constellation. But let's talk about his weapon. If you have Jade Spear, Staff of Homa, Calamity, that much, Black Leaf, and White Tassel. And if the weapons that just mentioned is good with him, just balance his um, crit stat with at least 65 or 70 percent crit rate, then 20 percent crit damage, and um, over 2.2k attack percent. If you have removal set, you don't really need to worry about. Um, like if you have 1.9k or 2k attack, you can also use attack buff with um, Benny and Sucrose. How much ER does Xiao need? I'd say about 120% is enough for Xiao even without running animal battery if you but um, if you can do 130% that is more than enough for him. About his playstyle, like what I said a while ago before you use his burst, just use both of his um, elemental skill, then um, immediately go to, uh, with his burst. Do you need his um, constellation? Absolutely not. BBC want to um, generate more energy particles for your burst. His C6 only works if you hit more than two enemies for you um, to do unlimited elemental skill. Let's say you um, really like Xiao like I do, then <laughs> yeah, go for it. So what are the facts? Um, if you still don't have a set of Vermilion hereafter, just go with two piece gladiator, Shiminawa, Vermilion, Echoes, or Viridescent. Any combination will do since they're all the same having plus 80% attack and plus 15% animal damage for bird descent. If you want to know my shadow set comparison, I uploaded a uh, video before. I'll just put a link in the description below. As long as I have attack sense, animal goblet and crit damage or crit rate circlet rubber. It will all depend on what some stats you get to deal more damage. Any more questions about Xiao, feel free to comment down below. So, uh, yeah. thank you so much for watching.